Happy Friday, Ballers Life game. Welcome back to the Heat Check. This is your girl Kiki, host of Ballers Life Snapchat show, NBA Sons. And I'll be filling in for Kayla Nicole on today's show. Let's get right into our first segment, the highlights of the week. Let's go! First up, we have Greg Brown, which was having none of the overrated chance. When you chant overrated at a five-star recruit, you're just asking to be proven wrong. The junior forward out of Vandergrift High in Austin, Texas, silenced the opposing crowd with an absolutely crazy dunk and block show. Man, Brown is putting up insane numbers this season, averaging 33 points and 13.8 rebounds per game. Brown is being recruited by just about every school you can think of with schools like Texas, Kentucky, Kansas, UCLA, and LSU in hot pursuit. Next up, we have Cassius Stanley going absolutely nuts. The Sierra Canyon senior is one of the leaders of the top team in California, and games like this are the reason why. The four-star shooting guard was throwing down dunks with ease and losing defenders with behind-the-back dribbles and making them jump out of their shoes with shot fakes. Stanley has broken down his recruiting list to the final three, which includes UCLA, Oregon, and Kansas. All right, guys, it's time for your chance to win some free swag from the Ballers Life Store. Each week, we'll pick the best comment from our Friday episode of the Heat Check. And this week's winner will receive this fire thing. But remember, the comment must be from this episode. So good luck and make sure y'all bring the fire comments. Hey, yo, Kawhi, what time is it? <laughs> First up, we have Nikola Jokic as his best Jackie Moon impersonation. The Nugget Center was looking for the rock down low but didn't like his positioning and kept kicking the ball back to teammate Gary Harris, who, of course, kept feeding the Joker the rock. So about after five back and forth passes, the play ended with Jokic scoring on a nice up and under move. Ryan Green from CBS Denver put together this hilarious edit. Check it out. Try one more time, got plenty of time. He truly is a showman. No, okay, never mind. Right back, though. Okay, right back to you. Okay, give it back again. You got it? No, right back. No, up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you sure? Yeah, right back. Come on up. No. Do it. Right back. Do it, Jack. Throw it to pop. Go. No, right back out. All right. right back, right back. Here you go, Jack. Back to you. You ready? Okay. Right back, though. Shoot. Woo. All right, right on. Clear. Yeah. You ready? No, right back. No? Yeah. Okay, clear. All right, I'm going. My turn. Jackie Moon finally making a move, and it is... All right, next up, Ennis Cantor gets some playing time, but doesn't really make the most of it. So in the Knicks loss to the Mavs Wednesday, Cantor got his first burn in four games. The Knicks center was so happy to be on the floor, he kissed the center court and proceeded to airball his first shot. has that infectious personality. The fans are into it now. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, now it's time to GTFOH. Get the f out of here. Get the f out of here. Get the f out of here. Get the f out. ESPN NBA analyst Kurt Goldsberry tweeted out this crazy graphic showing some of the worst shooters based on percentages of the 2018-19 season by area of the floor. Iceberg, run ahead. Thank you. So Russell Westbrook is the worst top of the key shooter, while Trey Young and Jason Tatum were two of the least fire mid-range guys in the league. And Rondé Hollis Jefferson is making less than half of his layup attempts. Uh, so which one of these shooting percentages stats surprise you the most? Hit us up with your take in the comments, because I'm really trying to know. All right, moving on. What would you do if you saw your opponent warming up like this? We caught this insane footage of Mount Verde Academy warming up pre-game and every single dude on the squad has bounced. I see a couple off of the backboard and a dude styling with a reverse slam and some double pump joints in there. What would you be thinking if you saw the team you are about to line up against doing those warm-ups? Because I know me, I would be like, Hands up! Yeah, 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 hands up! Alright guys, moving into our next segment, heads up. Okay, high school hoopers in California, please pay attention. The California Interscholastic Federation, the state's governed body for high school sports, will not be running NFH as sanctioned live viewing events for boys basketball in June, where college coaches can evaluate potential recruits. Ballers Life's Ronnie Flores and Cal High Sports Harold Ben dropped the news Thursday night with a direct quote from CAF Executive Director Roger Blake, which reads, The committee decided we will not be involved. There were two big issues. Number one, it's only for boys. If the CIF enters this, we want this to be able to be offered to both boys and girls, and the NCAA calendar doesn't allow that. Number two is that the NCAA is providing an opportunity for 2,400 boys nationwide with our boys part of the 600 boys going to Grand Canyon College, all expenses paid. So we felt that there was still an opportunity for our boys to get some D1 college exposure. California joined states such as New York, Texas, Nevada, which are also not hosting live events in June. 
So what does this mean for high school hoopers in California? You now have even less time to play in front of college coaches. So make sure you make the most out of those opportunities. All right, next up, NBA trade season is up on us. The first deal leading up to the NBA's February 7th trade deadline went down Thursday, and boy, was it a big one. Here's the breakdown. The Dallas Mavericks will send Dennis Smith Jr., Wesley Matthews, and DeAndre Jordan to the Knicks for Chris Das Porzingis, Tim Hardaway Jr., and Courtney Lee. This blockbuster deal sends even more talent out west. Uh, but does it make the Mavericks a legitimate threat to contend in the Western Conference? Hit us with your take in the comments. Well, that concludes today's episode. And as usual, we want you guys to be part of the convo. So make sure you let us know your takes in those comments. And if you're lucky enough, your comment might win some free swag. <laughs> Also, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you can stay in the Ballast Life loop. If you missed our last episode and you need to catch up, we're making it way easier for you. Just click right over here. And if you are a hoop junkie and you just want to check out our latest highlight vids, click right over here. Alright guys, thank you so much for tuning in. This is your girl Kiki from Ballast Life Snapchat Show, NBA Sons. Thank you so much for letting me fill in for today's episode. After y'all check this out, make sure y'all go to Snapchat to go check that out. And then I'll see y'all later.